Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 Kaiserreich as Zhijiang. Let's continue on for the last of off. So, there's been a ceasefire in the Maklik Tibetan War. We have aligned ourselves with the Wangzhou government. And it's really all of China now against the Fatin government. Which really means it's all of China against what is eventually going to be a Japanese uh, conflict. So I actually want to delete all of your lines here. Cannot draw front lines. Why can I not draw front lines in um, our allies' territory? I'm not too sure, but let's just draw you for now. And let's deploy these units. Just one row of each. It's going to get us up to 25, which actually is annoying because that's going to be one more than a... Uh... There we go. 24. The perfect amount. Bring you up like so. And all of you just deploy somewhere for right now. Are we still in charge? Oh, it, it switches us to... Uh... Well, okay, that's... Ah, see, that's, that's a little annoying. So they have switched our leaders, unfortunately. But I don't think I can set... You know, actually, give me one moment here. There we go. Okay, I, I, I fixed it now. So, as, as a man of opportunity, I, we, we see the way the winds are blowing. We, we see that maybe the Gwangshaw government is probably our best hope. 28 divisions. I'm not too sure why we're not allowed to see the other um, member states here. I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that we are all puppets, but not technically in a faction together. Or what necessarily is going on. I want to draw your line out a little bit. Like so. I don't want to be taking any unnecessary um, supply issues for obvious reasons. Like if I can just put our troops like right here. Push away toward Beijing. Toward Shenyang Harbin. It is going to get the Japanese at war with us like immediately. I'm trying to think like if we can wait until the second Dula Creek. We can wait until Japan is at war with Germany or, or something of that nature. There is some possible play there, right? I'm not too sure what the play exactly is. But I think that there, there's something that we can make work. Also, I did not realize that many of India has gone completely fucking lapped. And Selindia's joined up with the Japanese. That's fine. Who's make, who's, who are the Canadians backing? They're actually not backing any side necessarily. They did take over uh, Michigan. They did take over. Um, is this Indiana? Probably the greatest two states in the union. Congratulations, Canada. Because like we are nominally allies, right? I think so. Kind of. We are missing out 13 steel. We are trading a little bit of it to Greece. That's nice. But I do need steel. Let's trade that with Russia for now. What are we at? We're at 48. 48 is not very good. Unfortunately. Two is getting traded away. How's our building slots? Like This is going to max it out. I guess afterwards we could theoretically build some air bases or stuff in the Guangzhou government. In our overlord's territory, but that's really about it. Okay, Southeast Provinces does have a cost of belly. So war could break out. Literally at uh, any moment now. Free military factories. Uh, it's a great question. I guess we go maybe like we can still produce some trucks. Maybe now we actually do want to maybe think about getting some aircraft. Is there any aircraft we can just buy? Transport plane, naval bombers. Trucks, AA guns. I mean, maybe, maybe that could make sense for us. I mean, they're pretty de- as far as I know, AA guns are pretty decent just to kind of have. So who's, who's selling them up here? It was... 
Russia. Go five deliveries on this. Let's research A guns. They're fairly cheap to build. We need we need something to use our uh, points on. And can the government? They do have a, a modicum of an air force. Japan, of course, has an air force of their own. So getting anti-aircraft guns, I think, makes sense. You know, it, it does have some utility for us. How is Mini of India even still alive at this point? Do they have Ahmabad? You really should just put them out of their misery. Get the Antan out of there. Also, we're only at 51% world tension. Going into, like, 1940. How's the world actually looking, by the way? The Reichs Pack's looking, I would say, pretty fucking good. Montenegro just kind of hanging out. Romania is going to get the fucking shit kicked out of them immediately. I feel bad for Romania. Like, there is no chance in hell that anything good can come from this situation for them. I mean, yes or I, they're still alive. You know, I think they should collapse pretty soon as well. Ottomans are doing okay. I think they will kill the Egyptians. I don't know how long it'll take for them to deal with Iran, but... I think things are looking up in their favor. Central Mer... What is this flag? That's a cool flag. I like this flag. I've also never seen the Annex Yucatan. Huh. I guess if you can't socialist and Central America socialist, they can they can unify. We're learning new stuff here. They might end up joining the Internationale. Kind of see what their plan is. And Japan's at war now with the Philippines. I think this would be like the best moment to strike. And you know what? Just for the sake of um for the sake of gameplay here. We're just going to, uh... We're just going to start the war now. It's an inevitability that this would happen. I, I, I say that. I think there's actually a slight chance that they could peacefully unify, but... Let's get this show on the god dang road. Sure, we can get better trucks here. You know, actually, I wanted to research trains. That was one of the things that were on my mind. Let's get this going. Uh, traits, let's go with funds gained 10%? Sure. Don't know what the fuck that does, but... We'll get that one going. Yes, we need to join your war. And then we need Shang-Chi to still join, and then we can deploy our units... ...in the, f in the front. We can... We can why am I not allowed to move units? Is it because I've, like, cheated the way that the, um... Do I need military access for you? Hey! More military reforms. Sure, we'll, we'll do it this way. It's, it's a little silly, but... It's the way that it has to go, I think. I'm surprised Guangzhou is taking this on to call in all their allies. Okay, there's Szechuan. Okay, military access through you. Shang Shi's not at war quite yet, but they should join soon as well. So Red Army, your job is to push your way towards Shenyang and Beijing. Beijing is a core of theirs. You don't have that many units. I guess your units are kind of spread up all on the entire line. MacLeek wants a. I I think they, I think I kind of broke it by um. You know, let's just make this easier for everybody. Actually, no. Unmark, unmark. Is it like call to add the faction? Make leader? No, no, no. Okay. Mark, mark. No, okay, no. I want to do the other way. I'm very bad at this. I apologize. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we can get rid of you. Now we can get rid of you. We can spread your line out a little bit more like so. I think that seems like a reasonable uh, amount. And get our units to the front lines ASAP. This area is going to collapse pretty soon. That is not a surprise to anybody, I would have to say. Anything else we want to get in here? Send in the army? No, but we can save up for these bad boys. We have 671 political power. We can't go to war economy, though. 
Hey, that's quite nice. That's pretty good. Move our way towards Beijing. Let's see if we can take these supply hubs. There are not that many. How many troops does Fendi government actually have? 23 to 68. Honestly, not that impressive. All things considered. I think actually I'm going to shrink your line to be a little bit more northern focused. Do we have any folk? Do I have any bonuses for you? Really none, huh? That is a genuine shock. Okay, let's move our way to Beijing and then to Tajin. We'll see when the Japanese get involved, because they will. They're not going to allow the Fending government just to completely collapse. Set in the army. No, 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 no. Don't worry about this quite yet. Military access, military access. All of that sounds good. And our allies are doing, like, fantastic work. I think my clique, and they, they, or not my clique, um, defending government, they probably just, like, don't have enough troops. Hey, there's the Japanese. Thank you, Japan. You know what? Okay. So Japan's now in the war. That is going to make our lives a lot more annoying, let's just put it that way. They're not, well, okay, they're not in the war quite yet, but they're going to be in the war literally any second now. Hopefully the Japanese just go to war the, um, the Germans first and they completely ignore China. The second Sino-Japanese war. Well, the thing is, like, nobody's even going to join the, um, the faction with you. Yeah, there's the United Front. But it's funny because we're already, like, all of China is already in your, aligned with you. So it's not going to be, like, as crazy as you might think. Okay, but you're also looking pretty good. I mean, there's an encirclement possibility here. We'll see the AI can maybe deal with that. I think you just hold off against Siam. Just hold the line. It should be more than enough. That's a lot of units here, huh? Can we have six? Deploy there ASAP. You guys just abandoned Taijin. The city I, I specifically requested you to take a while ago. It's a nice city, motherfuckers. I need it. Okay, I also want the supply hub. Eh, do I take you? I think the answer is no. I think we have to wait for... Also, we can get all this stuff. Oh, we, we have so much political power. Okay, they have now re-secured their position in Taijin. Red Army shrinks to here. And our units are on their way. I want to close up this uh, line. See if we can get like a massive encirclement and just kill all these troops. I keep pressing the button. It's so tempting all the time. But I cannot have it. At least not yet. We move our way down to you. Bring all these troops again to go towards Taijin. What are the numbers looking at right now? We're looking at one point, about 1.6 versus probably about like 2.1 million. I mean, the numbers aren't in our favor. I can tell you that much. Is there just nobody in these lines? Okay, move our forces forward. The thing is, I can't let our own units also get in circle. That'd be a real fucking embarrassment, wouldn't it? They've got to play this a little carefully. Okay, you've gotten circled. Good work, team. Very happy to see that. Okay, 98. Push on to the next province, please. Let's see if we can maybe save you if we're lucky. Anti-aircraft guns are now done. Get anti-aircraft upgrades. Okay, they got killed off. Which is, like, not... Great. If you just took this province, we would have like a beautiful encirclement. I don't know why you are refusing to take it. 
but it's there it's there for the taking you could you could have it you could have the encirclement of your dreams but yet you refuse to uh what do we not have you want more trains and you also want convoys well i don't have convoys i can tell you that much anti-aircraft guns sure let's build at least a handful we have 300 if i was to throw those into support divisions We'd be at negative 40. Honestly, not bad. Throw those in there. Follow that up by buying more. More anti-aircraft, yes. And you know what? We'll buy these 20 convoys. Sounds good to me. I think I do need... Like, if these all of you just push it at the same time... The encirclement of our dreams would, would be realized. But yet... Yet you hate me. And you will not give me... Why is our supply so bad? We have no access to... Boats. Is, are, they, are you not connected by rail? Okay. From here to here. That's top priority. Are you finished? Cancel this. We need this railroad done. Connected to these supply hubs, please and thank you. It's kind of really important for us to get that done. Okay, hold position, hold position. Don't do anything ever. We're still fine. Uh, keep one infantry here back. How are you so dog shit? Like, not- I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just genuinely curious. How are you so shit? I really wish our allies would help us out. That would be that that would be the dream. Also, my units have now gone encircled here. In uh, Taijin. Which is not the reality I was hoping for. You know, let me just put it that way. Greece has been annexed. Okay, all of you guys, shrink your way to here. Is that railroad done? Are we done on the 23rd? Well, they're trying. They're still alive over there. Can you guys actually just like, please push in for the north? I, I don't know why you refuse to make good plans. But it would be nice. Okay, two more days and then you'll be connected properly. Yeah, and then you're connected to your uh, Toyun. So this should be connected to somewhere. There we go. The rail lines here are finished. I want you just to be in these two provinces. Trying to get the fucking encirclement of all of these troops. Okay? I don't even think I'm asking for that much, genuinely. I feel like I'm asking for a reasonable amount. We have so many units in Beijing, which I mean, I understand, but I don't like it. Joined up with France. To Sissi joined up with the uh, Reich's Pact. Japan, can you like start another war somewhere stupid? I feel like that would be nice for my morale. What if we push here and then we push on like this rail line? 
thing is, they're kind of fine where they're at. But it's a bit of a mess. Just ever so slightly. But I will say... I mean, I, I, I don't think things are going bad necessarily, but nobody's doing what I want them to do, which is very upsetting for me. But I will say, at least right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not enjoy, go some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.